Again, welcome to my studio. This is Dick Ensing from a Tennessee artist. Today we're going to give you another free art lesson. Now we've been working a process out. The first three art lessons, free ones, were on still life. How to start it with, with the shapes, how to do the values, how to reconstruct. This time we're using a head study. We started, we've already established some of the shapes in here. We have five shapes, triangle, circle, square, rectangle, and an oval. Now what we're going to do today, we're going to put values into this. And basically what I'm using is a light blue, which is a cerulean blue. We're going to use the same color we sketched with. I use a number two or a number three brush, doesn't matter. We're going to do a technique called scumbling. Now here's, here's the brush, it's got a nice chisel point on it. It's a, what they call a flat with a long bristles. Make sure you put enough paint on there, but not too much, okay? Now look for your values, okay? And here again, before we can get through this whole process to get to the finished painting, we have to go through all these stages. And here we have a value scale from light to dark. And basically, there's 11 values in here. This one, I think, has nine, but basically, your eye can only see 11 values. A painting ends up to be five or six values to total from light to dark. Remember, your light's coming from here. Here's the light. Here's the dark side. Today, we're going to scumble the values in here. Remember, values establish the form of the object. So let's start. Look for the dark parts first. Now, I've already kind of toned this a little bit so you can see where some of the darks are. Look at the darks over here in her hair, okay? This is called scumbling. Okay. These are the darks. That's somewhere around here, some, maybe about as dark as that right now, okay? These are shadows. Now look at her eyes. There's a little dark value right in here. Okay, now don't do just a little spot and a spot and a spot. That won't do it. You have to do a mass, a whole area, a, a big mass of, of color. Dark, then it gets a little bit lighter. Now as you go out from the dark to the lights, there's what we call middle values in here, okay? So you have a dark here, you'll have a middle value right here, then your lights will be out here, okay? Let's do the same thing again, this, this eye. Okay. Now, remember the light's coming across here, so that nose is going to cast a little bit of a shadow. That may be a middle value though, basically. It won't be real dark. Okay. Now remember, values establish the form of the object. That's the only way you can establish the form of the object. You can't do it with color. Color is the last thing on the list. Color has to have the right value to make sense. Okay. There'll be a little bit of a shadow. It'll be a middle value under her, under her uh, chin right here. We'll get into color later. Look at her lips. It's got a dark. It's the middle, then it's got a light, okay? You evaluate the whole picture here. Up here it's a little bit darker, a little lighter, a little middle right here. As it gets over here, it's much lighter. So this here is maybe a middle value that comes down into here. But then as we see this, this gets actually a little darker, so we can go down a little bit deeper right over here. You can have a lot of fun with these value sketches. Watercolor people are real smart. The first thing they do is make a value sketch, then they do their watercolor. For one reason, a couple of reasons. One reason is when they do it, the light is consistent, so they leave it. As the day progresses, the light's going to change on you, so you leave it to what you started with. Okay. And this is called scumbling. Just and you're not going to hurt your brush. As a matter of fact, it'll wear them down a little bit and give a, give a, even a better chisel edge on it. Okay. A little darker right in here. Now normally I have a picture, I, I, a model to work from. This was not done just out of my mind. This was done from a model. Okay. Now there's going to be a little bit of a shadow coming from her hair right over here. Very light, okay. Now, 
I'll tell you that one of the reasons we use cerulean blue, cerulean is a little cooler, but it, it will blend with all your other colors as you get into it. A lot of times if I do a landscape outside or a, a portrait, I use cerulean. If I'm doing something inside, a lot of times I use ochre, uh, yellow ochre. But I like the blue, the blue color, it is, gives a nice uh, ambiance to your picture now, okay? Now there's gonna be a little bit of a shadow right here on her arms. Okay. okay, that's as far as we're gonna take that. That gives you the idea to see the finished video. Now we're gonna do some finished ones, which will be an hour, hour and a half, which will take the portrait from every stage. And there's basically five stages in this painting. We're about the number two stage right now. The third stage will be reconstruction, which we're going to do in another video. Appreciate you coming today, and as I said, you can look me up on my internet, um, dickensingartist.com, or write me on my email, dickensingbellsouth.net, and uh, I'll answer any other questions for you. And again, thank you for coming to the studio.